Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble and install resistors and diodes on golf cart solenoids. All right, this is the resistor. You will either have a 250 ohm or a 470 ohm resistor, depending on the voltage of your golf cart. Uh, 250 for 36 volts and 470 for 48 volts. Okay, you can see the resistor goes on between the two big terminals. There's no polarity for this thing. It can go one way or the other and it makes absolutely no difference. All right, the diode is put on the small terminals. Uh, the diode does have a polarity. It is banded on the positive end. You will crimp uh, the red connector onto the positive end and the bare connector onto the negative end. Simple crimp tool is all that's needed for that. Okay, if the solenoid is marked at the small terminals, positive and negative like this solenoid is, then you will follow that designation and put the banded end and the red connector on the positive terminal. If it's not marked like the MZJ400A, then you can put it either way. All that you have to remember is that when you connect the positive wire that it goes on the same terminal with the red connector and the banded end of the diode. All right, now you'll get the same diodes with the SW202 and DC182. They'll be assembled the same way. And these contactors have the same designation. You'll put the positive end on the positive terminal and the uh, small negative terminals will loop together and then be connected to the battery main negative. The top connectors here, both positive, will go to each side of the rocker switch. Okay? All right, well, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can email me, and uh, I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks for watching.